Hey everyone, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz, and today I want to show you about image optimization for your website. A lot of times I get questions from photographers asking me why would I want to shrink my photos on my website for site speed and compromise my visitors from seeing a compressed low resolution photograph instead of a giant photograph and all of its glory big, vibrant, and uncompressed as much as possible for a JPEG. Well, that's one of those fine lines between user experience, SEO, and um, personal preference, really. So, I want to show you some things that I've done um, through, through research, through use, trying tools, through uh, trying many website hosts over the years, etc. So, as you can see, I've got this... Um, software open right now called Image Optin. Okay? What this does is you can actually drag photos onto here and it will compress the photos whether it's a JPEG, a PNG, a GIF, whatever it is, um, it can handle a good variety of um, image styles. And this, by the way, the software is free. Um, and it will compress it for web basically removing all the useless data. So anything that's pure white instead of it having some sort of binary you know numbers in the in the code it will just strip it out because it's useless it doesn't need to be there so um, that's the purpose of image optin basically reducing the images to the smallest possible size without losing quality okay now let's show you what this looks like I'm gonna open this folder called image opt uh, image optimization and you can see here I've got four photos now in the article I'm going to actually share these originals here all on the post okay and that way you can actually see on my website host uh, on my website running on a fantastic host WP engine you can see how fast the photos load next to each other right so I what I want but what I want to show you with image optim is how great it can actually compress these so you can see here it's 1.1 megabytes now watch what happens actually what I'm going to do is copy and paste that's it now we've actually got um to the size so now we've got the same thing here's the original here's the copy I'm going to take the copy drag it into image optim and watch what it goes from to so it went from 1.1 megabytes to 937 kilobytes now this photo is actually 1600 pixels wide okay it's at 100 dpi 1600 pixels wide at 100 percent um, optimization when when you go to like um, export from Lightroom or save to web in Photoshop um, so to give you an idea here is the original and here is the optimized version you cannot see a difference okay so in this case it actually did a pretty good job of not changing anything and still reducing the file size now let's go to the next one so here it is a 60 quality from Lightroom or Photoshop 377 kilobytes let's actually make a copy of this so here's the copy drag that to image optim oh and by the way you can actually see the what is doing so the first one is 15.8 percent savings this one is 6.1 so here it went from 377 kilobytes to 354 let's look at the 60 quality and here's the image optim version again between these two you cannot see a difference All right now next one let's do another copy here is an 800 pixel so now I did um, 60 quality and 800 pixels so it's smaller photo it's 106 kilobytes it's image optim this one 7% um, savings it went from 106 kilobytes um, down to 99 kilobytes and again let's see the difference you see a little movement over here but not much Oops, sorry, wrong photo. All right, now let's do the last one. Again, 60 quality, and now this one is actually 600 pixels, so it's even smaller. And it's 64 kilobytes, and now it's 58 kilobytes. It was 8.2% savings. And again, can't see much of a difference between the two. Now, let's remove all the copies. And just to give you an idea, um, so here are the originals. 
besides from the size changing, um, you're not seeing much of a quality difference, okay? So user experience wise, it, this is where preference comes in, into play because yeah, this will be the fastest loading image on any web host compared to the biggest one. However, if a person is coming to see your photographs, they're not gonna wanna see it this small. Maybe 800 pixels is a good choice or Maybe this one, which is 1600 pixels, is a good choice compared to the full size one. Now, between my personal preference is what this is what I do. I actually do um, the big photo. So I actually use this one, the 60 quality, and then run it through Image Optim, upload it to my website, but I show it on my website at 800 pixels. So when you click it, it goes bigger. Okay. Now, here's what I want to show you. I am actually going to go to my website. I'm going to create an article and then post it. And you'll see this video with the article. And what I want you to do is actually keep an eye on the load time of the photos. Now, what is so great about having a fantastic web host is redundancy so the same way that you should be backing up your photos and let's say you have a Drobo or a Synology drive or a GTEC drive that's a RAID system so you have your photos on one hard drive and it copies it to other hard drives so at, when you're looking at one photo you're actually looking at the same photo on multiple hard drives all at the same time that's actually giving you more speed at editing your photo or looking at your photo, etc. A fantastic web host like WP Engine is going to do the same thing, but in the cloud, so to speak, or or um, just multiple server farms around the country or world, depending on what host you use. And when someone comes to your website, they're being fed your website from multiple servers from multiple locations, which speed it up. In addition, some web hosts have the option for have using a CDN um, content uh, distribution ne network or delivery network. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the D stands for, but um, I think it's delivery or dis distribution. And basically, that's an added server farm or cloud that helps increase that speed. So, for example, I use WP Engine and Amazon's S3, which is a CDN um, system. So. When a photo loads on my website, it's loading from WP Engine and Amazon S3. So I'm getting the best of all of this in one spot. I'm getting the, the amazing speed of WP Engine plus the amazing speed of Amazon sending you my or visitors my photos. So um, finding a host that can do all that is a great thing. Now, WP Engine is not cheap. So, you know, um, for the average photographer, but it's well worth it. It's well worth the investment. For one website, it might cost you around $300 for the year, maybe a little more for one WordPress website. That's one. The way WP Engine works is they charge per WordPress install. Okay, so um, if you're an advanced WordPress user and you're using multi site, for example, maybe you're using um, yourdomain.com and then clients.yourdomain.com and that's a multi-site it's still only one WordPress install um, so they charge per WordPress install not per website um, per domain so uh, it, it can be affordable it can be a little bit you know too expensive for some it definitely is an advanced web host they only allow you to use a WordPress website so it has its downfalls and it has its upsides. More upsides are, so speed, security, they hire one of the best WordPress security companies. Um, I actually came, before I went, got my job with Photocrati, I was working with a company called Pivot Point Security. And they actually do um, IT security for websites, for applications, for networks, things like that. So I'm very familiar with um, IT security and, uh, Pivot Point Security, while we never, when I was with the company, we never worked with, with Security, this uh, WordPress security company, but 
there was a lot of um, admiration for Sakiri because their focus is on WordPress and they really know their stuff. So WP Engine actually hires Sakiri to do their security, which is great. Um, they also do daily backups. You can do as many backups as you want. Um, it sort of works like Apple's Time Machine. And there's a lot of other great features that included. You can get SSL support if you need a, a, you know e-commerce with credit cards, things like that. So I'll, I'll also link to my article on WP Engine. Um, but the purpose of this one is not to talk about all their other stuff, to show you photo load speeds and um, the importance of having a great web host that not only can handle big photos and to distribute them to your site website visitors, but also to not crash when they have a lot of people trying to load those big photos. So check it out. Love to hear your feedback. Um, oh, and by the way, before I forget, um, if you are in, let's say you're in New York, and someone else is in New York, if you load your website, if you, I mean, sorry, if you load my website and you're in New York, and it's a brand new post, and then the next person who is in New York goes and views the website, it'll load even faster for them because it's already distributing to that server. Um, so it's sort of like, that. that's kind of how the clouds work, is that the, the, it, when something gets distributed to one area, everyone in the future gets it a little bit faster. It also means that every time you load the website, it'll be faster and faster, almost instant. So the first time you load th my this post, it will be slower than it will be every other time that you load this post. So that's about it. Uh, I hope that explains a lot. Um, and if you have questions, definitely comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. And also check out WP Engine. Well worth the investment. Thanks for watching.